Hello friends, welcome to Golden Career and today is your math class as your schedule. So today we will discuss quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is again very important topic uh, because you will get 5 marks in your prelims exam and same 5 marks in your mains exam but if not 5 then you will get at least 3 marks in your mains exam based on quadratic equation. Okay. So uh, your assignment is already uploaded. If you are a member of State Bank of India PO coaching, if you have joined it, then please log in your account and download the assignment. There are approximately 50 questions and some questions are of high level, some questions are of moderate level. Uh, you will get moderate level questions in your prelims exam, but you will get high level questions in your mains exam. So I have given both questions. If you have, if you have any doubt, you can ask to faculty and uh, you can also mail us at info at goldengrade.co.in for any technical issue or any other query. But uh, if you have any doubt related to your assignment, then you have to ask to your faculty by logging in your account. And if you haven't joined the SBI batch yet and you want to join it, then you can join it by visiting our website www.goldengrade.co.in. Registration link is given there on home page and uh, Registration fees is only 10 rupees. Okay, coaching is free only uh, registration fees that is 10 rupees You have to pay and again the Hindu e-newspaper is available on our website Please download the newspaper and read it Without reading newspaper you cannot clear any exam because there is a essay writing exam theory uh, uh, English written exam in State Bank of India and uh, there is English section so uh, for English section you must uh, have good vocabulary so your vocabulary will be strong if you read in newspaper daily and for written exams also newspaper will help you and even for the gd section newspaper will help you a lot so let's discuss the question first we will discuss a simple question it's not that simple but you will get these type of questions in your prelims exam 6x square minus 17x plus 12 7 y square minus 13 y plus 6 is equal to 0 okay so uh, in exam you have to find the value of x and y then you have to compare the values and then you have to choose the option like x is less than y x is greater than y and x is greater than equals to y x is less than equals to y x is equals to y or relationship cannot be established something like this option will be like this so how will you do this i'm going to tell you 6x square minus 17x plus 12 is equal to 0 first multiply this number with this 12 into 6 then write this number minus 17 okay signs are very important write minus 17 here now break this number and we can write it at 6 into 2 and 3 into 2 okay we can write again 3 into 2 into 2 and into 3 into 2 okay so now uh, 3 to the 6 uh, okay we have to break these numbers into two parts so that uh, when we add that numbers we get minus 17 and if we multiply that number then we get 12 into 6 actually we will always get 12 into 6 if we break uh, uh, these numbers okay so uh, what we can do 2 to the 4 to the 8 multiply this 2 to the 4 to the 8 right 8 here and multiply this 3 3 is a 9 into 9 9 is a 72, 12 is a 72. So you don't need to be worried about uh, multiplication. You will always get that number. That's why we have uh, bracked. That's why uh, we have bracked 12 into 6 into several parts. So that you don't need to be worried about uh, multiplication. What you have to uh, worried about is addition because when you add these two numbers you must get minus 17 so how will uh, how can we get minus 17 if we write it as minus 8 and minus 9 if we add the uh, both numbers then we will get minus 17 and if you multiply minus 8 multiply by minus 9 then minus minus it will be plus and we will get 72 
so here we have got the numbers minus 8 and minus 9 next step is divide it by coefficient of x coefficient of x is 6 so divide it by 6 so what we uh, we can write it as minus 4 by 3 and it is at as minus 3 by 2 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 and here 2 4 is a 8 and 2 3 is a 6 so your roots of equation or factors of uh, roots of equation will be x1 is equal to you have to change the sign while uh, writing the roots okay plus 4 by 3 and x2 will be plus 3 by 2 here are your roots of equation okay let's see second equation that is 7y square minus 13y plus 6 is equal to 0 again 7 into 6 and we have to bring minus 13 by adding or subtracting these numbers okay so we can clearly see 7 into 6 7 uh, 6 of 42 uh, as we have multiplied 7 into 6 and 7 plus 6 13 so we can write it as minus 7 and minus 6 minus 7 minus 6 minus 13 and if you multiply then it will become plus so next step is divide it by coefficient of y square coefficient of y square is 7 divide it by 7 minus 1 and minus 6 by 7 to write the roots we have to change the sign y1 is equal to plus 1 and y2 is equal to plus 6 by 7 next step is to compare the value you may use a different method for comparing the value but i will tell you the easiest and fastest uh, fastest one okay so keep x1 constant write 4 by 3 here value of x1 is 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 here then keep the x2 constant write 3 by 2 here and then 3 by 2 here okay then here write the value of y1 y2 and y1 y2 okay so x1 constant and keep x2 constant okay write the value of y1 y1 is 1 by 1 y2 is 6 by 7 again 1 by 1 and 6 by 7 now what you have to do is you have to cross multiply these number first this number then multiply this number with this first this then this okay you have to follow same pattern else you will get the wrong answer so 4 multiplied by 1 4 and 3 multiplied by 1 3 4 multiplied by 7 7 for the 28 and 6 multiplied by 3 18 3 multiplied by 1 3 and 2 multiplied by 1 2 3 multiplied by 7 7 3 is at 21 and 6 multiplied by 2 12 12 this is value of x this is value of y now you can simply compare x is greater than x is greater than x is greater than x is greater than so your answer will be x is greater than y this is your final answer okay i think it is clear to you let's see one more question so that it will be more clear to you how to solve the quality equation next question is x square minus x just a minute x square minus 19x plus 84 is equal to 0 and y square minus 25y plus 156 is equal to 0 okay again same we have to multiply this number with this but here coefficient of x square and y square is 1 okay so we will write it as 84 now break it 12 into 7 12 into 7 12 is 7 is 84 and we have to bring minus 19 by adding these two numbers so we can clearly see minus 12 and minus 7 when we multiply by minus 12 by minus 7 we will get plus 84 but when we add these numbers we will get uh, minus 19 okay so here we have got the uh, factors minus 12 minus 7 to write the roots of the equation what uh, again we have to divide it by coefficient of x square but coefficient of x square here is 1 so uh, it will not make any difference we will write x1 is at plus 12 and x2 is 
plus 7 because we have to change the sign while writing the roots okay let's solve second equation which is y square minus 25y plus 156 is equal to 0 let's break 156 divided by 4 uh, it will be 4 3s are 12 and 4 9s are 36 multiplied by 4 we can write is 13 into 3 into 4 we have to bring minus 25 so if you multiply these two numbers 13 into 12 okay we will get 156 and minus 13 and minus 12 we will get minus 25 so here are the root minus 13 and minus 12 but again uh, while writing the roots we have to change the sign so value of y1 will be plus 13 and value of y2 will be plus 12 now we have to compare the value keep x1 constant 12 12 and write the value of y1 13 and y2 12 again keep the value of x2 constant 7 7 and write the value of y1 13 and 12 here y greater here equal to here y greater y greater so we can clearly see x is less than or equal to y okay so you have got the answer next we will see uh, some difficult questions so you will get these type of questions in your mains exam so uh, the question is x square minus 2 root 3 x minus 45 is equal to 0 okay and uh, next equation is y square minus root 6 y minus 36 is equal to 0 so in these type of equations what you have to do is write minus 45 as it is okay we are taking here equation 1 minus 45 as it is then draw two lines then write the root value value inside the root okay here root 3 and root 3 so if we multiply root 3 with root 3 what will we get we will get 3 okay then by which number we multiply 3 so we get uh, 45 we can clearly see if you multiply by 15 with 3 we will get 45 now what we have to do is next step is break this 15 into two parts so that when we add those two parts we must get this number value outside the root that is minus 2 so 5 into 3 5 3 is a 15 and uh, if we uh, write it as minus 5 and 3 then if we add both number we will get minus 2 here you don't need to be worried about sign of 15 okay what you have to uh, what your goal is to get this number minus 2 by adding or uh, by adding these numbers so minus 5 and minus 3 simply write minus 5 here and write 3 here finally you have uh, you got your roots again same procedure when writing the roots you have to change the sign x1 is equal to plus 5 by root 3 and x2 is equal to minus 3 root 3 plus 5 root 3 and minus 3 root 3 uh, let's see second one y square minus root 6 minus 36 again same write minus 36 as it is next is write the root 6 here and again root 6 here so if we multiply root 6 with root 6 what will we get we will get 6 now by which number we should multiply 6 so that we get 36 so again we if we multiply 6 with 6 we will get 36 again next step is we have to break this number into two parts okay we have to multiply uh, break this number in two parts so that when we add those two numbers we must get here value outside root 6 is 1 we can write 1 here it will not make any difference so 3 into 2 if we write minus 3 and 2 then we will get minus 1 so we will write minus 3 here and 2 here so while writing the roots again value of y1 will be change the sign 3 root 6 and value of y2 will be 
minus 2 root 6 so now it's time to compare the value so while comparing the value same keep the value of x1 constant 5 root 3 5 root 3 and then write the value of y1 and y2 3 root 6 and minus 2 root 6 as we know uh, we all know a value of uh, 3 is 1.732 something and value of root 6 is 2.449 so you don't need to be worried about frac uh, the part after point okay this part means uh, what you have to take is take the whole value only so you can write it as 5 into 1 and you can write it as 3 into 2 again we can write is 5 into 1 and write it as minus 2 into 2 so uh, which one is uh, greater 3 into 2 definitely 6 is greater and in this case which one is greater definitely uh, it has minus sign so this one is greater let's compare second value keeping x2 as constant minus 3 root 3 minus 3 root 3 okay and then value of y1 is 3 root 6 and minus 2 root 6 again minus 3 into 1 and 3 into 2 minus 3 into 1 and minus 2 into 2 okay so uh, minus 3 and 3 into 2 6 which one is greater definitely y is greater and here x is greater so we can see uh, somewhere is x greater and somewhere is y greater so the answer of this question will be relationship cannot be established between x and y as please recheck the calculation also if uh, there is any mistake you can comment below we will rectify it okay now we will see a question uh, which was asked in the SBI PO mains exam last year okay it's a difficult one actually it's not a difficult one it looks difficult question was something like 3x square minus 9 plus root 15 x plus 3 root 15 is equal to 0 okay so in these type of questions what you have to do is write multi uh, actually write this 9 and root 15 write it as 9 root 15 okay simply multiply it then again draw two lines nothing you have to do here is minus 9 and minus 50 if you open the bracket minus 9 and minus root 15 write minus 9 here and write minus root 15 here and simply divide it by the coefficient of x square divide it by 3 divide it by 3 what it uh, it will be 3 minus 3 and minus root 15 by 3 so while writing the roots you have to change the sign x1 is equal to plus 3 and x2 is equal to plus root 15 by 3 so this is the easiest one what you have to do is you have to write just add these two values multiply it 9 root 15 okay if you multiply these two values you will get the same okay so you can multiply these two values 9 root 15 and then break draw two lines and write minus 9 one side I'm simply open the bracket and uh, root value another side and divide it by the coefficient of x square and you will get the answer so uh, this was the question which uh, this is the question which was asked in the SPIPO mains last year and the questions are easy again you have now you have to solve the assignment you have to practice well so that uh, uh, you can solve the question quickly and please uh, let me know how was the video please like this video and comment below and uh, solve the assignment there are a lot of questions and if you have any doubt in the assignment ask to faculty and uh, if there is any calculative mistake uh, in this video then please comment below and uh, again thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel so that you can get updates easily thank you